Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the WNBA. Hello and welcome. It's the WNBA here on 2K Sports. And tonight we've got the Los Angeles Sparks playing against the Seattle Storm. With analysts Ryan Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you with us. It's stolen by Natasha Howard. A solo fast break. Shot's good by Clark. Passing is what makes Stewart perhaps the best offensive player in the world. Not just to score, an all-around force. Now here's Tolliver. Pass to Parker. It's stolen by Howard. Oh, and the fast break for the Storm. Here's Stewart. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jewel Roy. They tried to increase the degree of difficulty for Stewart. Didn't matter. She has the strength and focus to take a bump and make the basket. And that one good. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Pass to Stewart. Over Ogumake. Again, Seattle. Off to a nice start. They hit all three from the field. Here in the first with a little over a minute played so far. Christy Tolliver attacking. Her second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. With the get better every day mentality, Tolliver has become one of the most respected players in the association. Now here's Bert. Clark. Buries the long-range jumper. Four makes on four shots. Everything has fallen for them early. Here's Williams. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two points. Check out the burst from Raquana Williams. She has better blow-by speed than I thought. Down low. It's stolen by Neko Gumake. Christy Tolliver for three. Nailed from three-point land. Well, the first stop from the D there was to protect the rim. So good idea to take the transition three. Pass to Stewart. Back to Bird. Stewart. Bird outside. Clark with it. Pulls up. Oh, Gumake with the rebound. Their first miss of the game. A strong start. And stolen by Lloyd. And even three-on-three three break. Howard, that's good. What a smooth finish. And that's why they always love seeing her on the end of those breaks. The Sparks trailing. Deflects the pass. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Sparks able to keep the ball here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Inside. Tries from 10. And yep, it's good. You know, you see her development off the catch, and that's a true student of the game. Agumake dominates because she never stops learning. And the shot goes down. Offensively, she can be the engine that drives them at any given moment. It's Simone Augustus on the wing. And a great assist by Christy Tolliver as that one goes in. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. It's very dangerous to leave her open like that. Lucky break for the D that she missed it. Christy Tolliver for three. Buries it from three-point range. A great start for her, four for four. She could be in for a big game. That's what we like to see. I mean, her energy level has been terrific right from the opening tip. And Stewart gets it to go. The Sparks call timeout. That yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change that game plan as well. Both teams deciding to change it up. The Sparks with the lead. Gray right side. Gray 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on D. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. The will, the desire. When Stewart is locked in offensively, there's little you can do to stop her. Back to Parker. And the layup is good. They're scoring, not, not car loads, not van loads, boat loads, big boat loads of buckets at the rim today. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get that ball in close time after time. Now here is Canada. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Stewart misses. That's a missed opportunity right there. And she'll be the first to tell you that's one she should have buried. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Sparks able to keep the ball here. Here's Gray. The kick out to Parker. Her second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. And Stewart gets it to go. She has been fantastic this quarter, and it's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the opponent's lead right here. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. That sends Chelsea Gray to the free throw line. Jordan Canada picks one up. After starting just one game in her first two years in the league, Chelsea Gray, she got a chance to become the full-time starting point guard in 2017 for Los Angeles. And she took full advantage of that chance. Named all WNBA back in 17, helping LA to the WNBA Finals. This game is off to a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high-octane offense from both sides. This is much-watched basketball. Let's hope they keep it up. Pass to Gray. Back to Gray. Fires the three. A lockdown perimeter defender. Canada has been named all defensive team in this league. Gives her all defensively every possession. And so both teams trading. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Sparks. Guys, lots of their points have come from shots inside the key. And that's where they should continue to attack moving forward. I mean, why change the plan until they make you? Absolutely. Bird gets the bucket. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. The kick out to Parker. That three off the mark. Seattle in the lead. Stewart, Gray defending. Pass to Bird. Outside, Stewart. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. What a great sight to see. Stewart doesn't need much to get going. And once she does, she is so tough to guard. Fuck! Bird outside. That one falls, her second basket of the game. She is now two for three. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. They need this. Good on the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Bird. She's got five. And that one's good, Stewart. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. And the Sparks call time here. We've seen Brianna Stewart really having a great game. She continues to burn them with her scoring. The coaching staff is gonna have to come up with a different defensive approach. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Tolliver, 10 points for her. Good for the fifth time in five shots. She remains perfect. Gains confidence with every made shot. Tolliver has a different gear she can tap into. Count that one. 
Well, I'm a big fan of the fact that she's getting the touches she needs here after not scoring a point in the first quarter. The kick out to Williams. Oliver up top, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lloyd. That is her first foul of the game. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Uh, Alicia Clark drives in. And it's Seattle scoring again. Because of Stewart's refined shooting touch, I don't think shot contests bother her as much as the average player. The Sparks trailing. Pass to Parker. Score the basket. Her fourth. And she's only missed one of her five shots tonight. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. To the inside. Howard. Yes. And a nice assist from Sue Bird. It's funny. It's almost like she has a radar. Sue Bird with a great feel for where her teammates are. That comes with experience. Here's Ogumake. And it's off from three-point range. Pass to Clark. Back to Bird. Clark. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Parker. Here's Ogumake. Williams. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go from downtown. Well, you know what they say. With range comes responsibility. And Williams shoulders the load for her team from downtown. Time called here. The Storm decide to talk it over. <laughs> Seattle with the ball. Three-point lead. To the paint. Pass to Clark. To the middle. Here's Lloyd. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. The body control on her is tremendous. Lloyd is not easily taken off her game. Impressive make. Ogumake defended by Stewart. Back to Williams. To the paint. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. And the Storm with possession. It's a five-point game. Pass to Lloyd. Good. And Jordan Canada gets the assist. As a defense, you can't let that happen. You know, let Lloyd step into a jumper. Too deadly to allow the catch and shoot. Here's Ogumake. Makes it off the glass. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Outside Canada. And the layup falls. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Parker's shot's good. Come on. You, you think a little contact is going to stop Candace Parker? No way. Too strong. Too much desire. Now here is Canada. Pass to Howard. Back to Canada. To the inside. Here's Stewart. Yes, it's good. Looking quite sharp with 10 for 12 shooting tonight. Her mechanics have been impeccable this quarter. And if you don't believe me, just look at her numbers. She's perfect from the field. Augustus with the ball. She's covered by Clark. And here's Parker. It's in. Basket number six for her thus far. She has missed only two shots from the floor. You can't question Parker's effort level on the glass. She loves beating opponents to the ball. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's the Sparks now. Shot and game clock separated by five. Inside. Here's Ogumake. That's good, and it's Candace Parker with the assist. I think Agumake is just outplaying the defense. Even with the contact, she finds the finish inside. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. 
you don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. Augustus, Whitcomb defending. Getting it to the hoop. Augustus has a ton of skills, but, but getting it to the hoop, that might be her best. It's the basis for her offensive game. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Storm out in front, leading by four. And join us right back here. At... What a game we're seeing from Stewart. Well, in terms of her points in the first half, that's pretty much what uh, we've come to expect. Which tells you really all you need to know about what a strong talent she is. I mean, I'm going to bet that she adds a lot more to her totals after the break. And here's Sue Bird outside. Cams it from downtown. Top three all-time in threes made. Bird has an easy shot. Doesn't need lots of space either. The kick out to Parker. Good, and Christy Tolliver gets the assist. The rapid-fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Left side, Williams. Pass to Tolliver. Out to Ogumake. It's Shanae Ogumake with the drive. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Recognizing the defense's miscues and capitalizing on them, that's part of what makes Agumake so special. Right there, she's able to find someone wide open. Bird gets the bucket. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. That one goes in. Three for three, that's the way to start the second half. Outside Howard, Bird. Alicia Clark on the wing. And again, Seattle with the triple. Moves well without the ball. Clark's pretty good at losing her defender and making them pay. Oliver, that's good. It's just been a great start for this offense here in the second half. They're four for four right now. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack's team. Seattle leading. Pass to Prince. That shot off. Nice D from Oquana Williams. Here's Parker for the tie. Here's Ogumake. It's stolen by Howard. Bird, she's guarded by Williams. Bird gets the bucket. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. And that one good. Well, listen, converting through contact is a mindset. And it's clear that Williams is of a rare breed. Clark outside. Stewart inside. Oh, Gumake's there. That one falls. That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And, I mean, she, she drains those. So I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. Now here's Gray, guarded by Bird. And here's Candace Parker for three. Good, and it's Chelsea Gray who picks up the assist. Keep getting it to Parker. It can make things easy on a coach. Has to be easy in the huddle. Get it to Candace. The three-pointer is on target. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. And the Sparks call time here. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Gray. 
Basket good. Talk about a creative ball handler. Once Gray gets defenders off balance, it's over. Here's Bird. And she drops it in from the low post. She's finding all kinds of ways to get it going right now. What a quarter she's having. Clark with it. Ogumake picks her up. An attentive player who sees the floor well. Clark really understands how to distribute the rock. The Sparks trailing. Gray right side. From outside the yard. Can't hit that one. So the Storm will take it the other way. Clark outside. Outside Stewart. Count it. What a top-notch game she's having. And really, she's got her team in front. And it sure seems like she's going to keep them there if she can continue to play like this. Tip. It's stolen by Sue Bird. Clark outside. Right side, Stewart. Pass to Prince. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Here's Parker. Back to Agumake. The three is up. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Bird with it. 17 points in the game. It's stolen by Neko Agumake. Pass to Parker. Ogumake from outside off the mark. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Alicia Clark on the wing. Here's Bird. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. You don't want to foul her. Bird almost automatic at the line. Yeah, it's her first trip to the line. She's perfect from the line this time. Here's Tolliver. He's got 14. Shot to oh. end the cold run. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And it's going to be on Sammy Whitcomb. Well, you want to keep players like Tolliver away from the free throw line. She's one of the league's best shooters at the charity stripe. And it's the Storm with the ball. Pass to Russell for three. Can't connect. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Storm up by 10. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads-up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. Pass to Canada. Shoots a three. But they'll get another chance. Back to Lloyd. Russell. Knocked away. Outside Canada. Up top, Russell. Lloyd. And again, it's the storm missing. Pass break. Here come the Sparks. Pass to Parker. And the lead is down inside single digits. A potent competitor inside the paint. You can usually count on Parker to produce inside. Seattle calls timeout. And here's Canada. Outside Lloyd. Pass to Russell. Canada. Gray defending. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Whitcomb. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jewel Lloyd. 
We've really seen them step up their three-point shooting in the second half. I, I mean, they're just letting it fly out there. Well, they're playing with confidence, and I like that. Sometimes you see teams get conservative once they've got a lead, but they're playing three. And it's working. Outside to Oliver. And stolen by Canada. And she uses the glass on the layup. When Canada wants to get to the hoop, she gets there. Incredible combination of quicks plus ball handling skills. Christy Tolliver for three. Ooh, no luck on that one. And the storm going the other way now. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's Whitcomb. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot two free throws. First free throw is good. And she makes both free throws. Now Tolliver. Takes it out to Augustus. Whitcomb with the steal. And it's the storm on the break. Howard, that's good. It's been all one-way traffic here. Is, they've really been wiped out offensively. And there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. It just keeps increasing. The Sparks call timeout. They've been very untidy with the ball here. You commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on simply making the play, good passes, and moving the ball around. And it's Candace Parker penetrating. And she makes that one. Yeah, she certainly is not the one to blame for them being in the hole today. She's been right on the money. The three from Christy Tolliver. Whitcomb grabs the miss. Eventually, I, I think she'll start knocking those down again. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Sykes. That'll be her second foul of the game. Three off the inbound. It's hauled in by the Sparks. Outside, Tolliver. Around three minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Parker, no good on the three. Personally, I am shocked that didn't turn into three points. She makes you pay on those nearly every time. And out of bounds, the Sparks will take it. There's no excuse for that turnover. That's just a straightforward pass gone wrong. So it's the Sparks now. Down by 15. It's stolen by Howard. Alicia Clark drives in. Good work defensively by Shanae Ogumake. Here's Tolliver. That's good, and it's Candace Parker with the assist. Well, perhaps the best passing big we've ever seen in the WNBA. Parker has incredible court vision and anticipation. Pass to Stewart. we played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Buries it down low. At 6-4, with her abilities, it's almost impossible to stop Stewart down low. Ogumake, right side. Parker, guarded by Howard. It's stolen by Howard. Stewart with the ball. Ogumake picks her up. Fires for three. And Brianna Stewart, good for three. And they're getting that lead way up there right now. It should be easy for them the rest of the way. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. Here's Ogumake. Lays it up and banks it in. I think Tolliver was born to assist because it seems like finding open teammates is in her DNA. Got that bucket in no time at all. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. A uh, different look here for the Sparks. And the Sparks call time here. Here's Weiss. Let's go with a three. Sinks the three-pointer. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. 
Here's Prince. And out of bounds, the Sparks will take it. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Ruffin Pratt. Sykes. Here's Weiss. Another three for the Sparks. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Here's Tuck. Takes the three. Weiss grabs the board. Fast break. Here come the Sparks. The three. Another three for the Sparks. What a performance. Every three she puts up, it's going down. She is in the zone. Here's Prince. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Beyond the arc, drops in the tray. Oh, get your popcorn ready. Her performance from long range has been something to behold, something to admire. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, that's been her shot today. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the brakes now, Tim? I say just keep on firing. And Brian, you want to run up the score? Her three-point shot has been so pure, just draining one after another. And so Seattle takes this... If I come through range, ain't no spot.